I cannot believe what this food is doing to us. Hey guys, I'm Samantha, a graduate student in nutrition and dietetics with about a year to a year and a half before I become a registered dietitian in the US. <laughs> So today, this was an accidental experiment, but I was going through my photos on my phone and I saw these four or five photos I took of myself back in January of this year, 2024. And I was like, wait a minute, I look completely different. And I took these photos with the intent to do kind of a fit girl 2024 series, which I started and never finished, classic, right? I knew at the time, which is the funny part, is that I did not feel myself, I did not look myself, and I wanted to make some changes, which did end up happening, but very gradually and not in the intensive way I thought I was going to do it. So let me give you some backstory. At the time, in January 2024, I was super stressed. <laughs> let me back up further. I had graduated college in May 2023 with a bachelor's in nutrition and dietetics. And I went to go move with my fiance way far away and with no plan, no job, no nothing lined up, which was fine. I wanted to have a bit of time off from the time I graduated to when I started work. And I was like, how hard could it be to find a job with my new bachelor's degree? I was so small and naive. It was so hard to find a job in my field or that paid like really anything. After a couple months of being over there, no job, feeling worthless and useless, well just feeling like I really just wanted to do something. I was bored and I wanted to make money and things like that. I was applying to things, applying, getting rejected, not getting callbacks, everything like that. I just didn't have enough experience in the nutrition field to outcompete my competitors. So I was not getting chosen for the jobs that I was applying to. And I was really applying to anything that was above a fast food or retail job because I just wanted to do something, right? After a while, I was like, whatever, let me just, I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna go to a Chipotle because I used to work at Chipotle and I was like, well, let me just try and see if Chipotle will hire me. I walked in, I asked for the manager. The manager said, yes, we're hiring. Thanks for coming in, apply and I'll give you a call back. So I ended up getting the job at Chipotle and it was awful, awful, awful. Anyway, that was that. I worked that for a few months and then I was still applying to jobs in my field, getting rejected, going to interviews doing that whole process as I was working at Chipotle, just being generally stressed out. And this was like July, 2023 to October, 2023. And I quit Chipotle and I was about to work at Chick-fil-A, but I decided not to. And so I started working at Petco. So I was jumping from fast food restaurant to retail, just these small little jobs that weren't paying a lot, that were not in my field, not what I wanted to do. Thank goodness I had my fiance with a big boy job because I could not have survived by myself. So I started working at Petco. It was better, but it was not the best of course. And so I was still applying, still getting rejected until this one job, one job hired me and said, yes, let me bring you on. I was like, yay, let's do it. That was at the end of December, 2023. So that was great. Long story short, I quit Petco before I started the next job because that's a long story. Put in my two weeks there and just hoped that my start date would be soon. Spoiler, it was not soon at all. It took forever to get hired, well, to get a start date at that new job in my field, in nutrition, paid a lot more. And so that's where we're at. In January, 2024, I had been waiting about a month to get a start date and I was just stressed out. Like, did they choose not to hire me after all? Why is it taking so long for a start date? I'm not making any money anymore. I was working at these itty bitty jobs, so I wasn't making a lot of money then. I quit my jobs. What am I gonna do? And you could say part of that was my fault for quitting Petco so soon, but anyway, long story short, that's that. So in these pictures, I was stressed out and I was eating a lot of highly processed foods, but I was still exercising. I was still sleeping a lot. I was still hydrating. I was walking every day, almost at least. But those two things, being stressed out, my cortisol was probably high and eating highly processed foods was messing me up. Look at these side-by-side -side photos. I put some dates on here so you can see from January, 2024 to this picture that's today, 
is so different. Well, okay, to me, it's really different because I see my face every single day, <laughs> but I hope you can see my skin is more glowy. Of course, these lightings are different in these two pictures, but you can tell my skin looks a lot healthier. My hair looks healthier. You can see even my teeth look better. I was looking kind of ghastly and puffy and just generally not healthy in January 2024. While in today's picture, I have way more color in my face. My face is less puffy. My hair looks better. My, my teeth look better. My eyes look better, I think. And I can't pinpoint exactly what it is because I was stressed out. I was eating a lot of highly processed foods and I was drinking a lot more alcohol than I am now, which I will touch on in a minute. But look at this next photo. This one is a side by side and I wasn't even trying to lose weight during these last, I guess it's been eight months now. So I haven't been trying to lose weight or anything like that. And at the time that I took the January 2024 pictures, I wasn't interested in losing weight per se, but to just kind of change my body composition and increase my health because I was hardly eating any vegetables, let alone fruit. Oh my goodness not fruit either. I was relying on a lot of highly processed foods to just make me feel better, I guess, and because they tasted good and I just didn't really care at that time. I was just focused on jobs, 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 money, 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 not really my health. But the thing is health is priceless. So these gradual changes across these eight months, I've barely noticed to be honest. And this kind of just reiterates how important it is to be consistent and to do small changes over time instead of one big intensive change that I was trying to do in January 2024 when it failed. There's really no shortcut once again. So anyway, that's all to say, look at these side by side. Um, I tried to do the same pose as I was doing. I'm wearing the same clothes just to make it look like oh wow, there is an actual difference between these two photos. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can really see how I have de-puffed so much not even necessarily weight loss. I don't weigh myself. I really don't know how much I weigh. And this isn't to like say, oh, I was so fat in these pictures. No, I wasn't. Um, it just kind of also shows that a person who's considered overweight by the BMI scale can be so healthy and look so healthy and feel so good while someone like me in these pictures who was still considered a healthy weight by the BMI scale was puffy, unhealthy, not eating well, not feeling well. And it's just like, okay, I was at a healthy weight, but was I really healthy? When someone who's overweight by the BMI scale is actually so healthy, but they're considered overweight. So are they immediately unhealthy? Absolutely not. And that's another thing. But look at this last photo comparison. This one blew my mind. It's of the backside of my body. And you can see my arm, my back. I just look so much healthier instead of like a ghosts, you know what I'm saying? This difference in my skin is shocking, really. The difference in my muscle tone and skin, I guess, what is it? Skin elasticity? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the word is for that, but you can just kind of see I look puffy and not well. Like my inflammatory response was through the roof or something like that compared to now when I've been eating so much better and way less stressed because now I feel like I have a direction. I didn't feel like I had much direction at that time, even though my I already knew I was going to start grad school at this time in January. I still just felt like wow, there's so much time to that and I have to get my life together now and it just wasn't coming together. So this whole comparison with body composition and the view of health between these two photos is to say that exercise is just not enough because as you can see, I was exercising every day almost. I do include a rest day like at least once per week as a rule for myself, but I was walking pretty much every day, exercising pretty much every day. My sleep was fine. I wasn't getting not enough sleep at the time. I have always been good about drinking water, so it wasn't just hydration. It really just came down to diet and stress. And you know, I have no evidence really, but I would not be surprised if most of that in January 2024, the unhealthy look and the unhealthy feeling was just from highly processed foods. There was a time where I went on a little Debbie snack cake kick, and that is very embarrassing to say as a nutrition and dietetic student, but hey, listen, I cannot tell you how much ice cream and sugar I'm still eating. Okay, that sounds bad. I'm not eating like crazy, crazy amounts, but my point is I'm not eating perfectly now. I am definitely not. I still have my nighttime snacks. I still eat ice cream and 
quite a bit of it, to be honest. The difference is I'm eating way more fruits and vegetables, way more whole grains, way more minimally processed foods, or not even that, but way more foods that don't have all of the filler ingredients in them, like you see in ramen and Little Debbie's cakes and a lot of our potato chips and corn chips and just those types of processed foods. I still eat things like bagged granola and things like bread in a bag like Dave's Bread, which is a good bread brand. I still eat crackers and ice cream and stuff, but it's small changes once again, and it's made such a huge difference. I don't even know how different it may change if I got rid of all of the added sugar in my diet or most of it, you know what I'm saying? It's not even hard is what I'm trying to say is I'm still eating what I want in a way, but I'm also just adding in the good stuff and taking away a lot of the added filler, hydrogenated oil, preservatives, chemical type. I don't like the word chemical because like, every food is a chemical but just the things that it's like hmm sodium benzoate maybe i shouldn't eat that nitrates and nitrites hydrogenated oils palm seed oil you know i'm not eating nearly as many of those types of items as i was in january 2024 and then about the alcohol thing i am going to do a whole another video on this i haven't had alcohol in three weeks today and it's not even like i had a problem with alcohol then but it's more about the novelty component i'm only 22 so it's been a real novel thing to do is drink and very social of course and so looking back like every single weekend i would drink at least once and so it's like oh let me get a cute little drink here let me try let's try this new beer in the store whatever it may be but it was every week for months and you know i think it's fun i'm not a huge like i don't think i have a problem with it because i haven't even thought about it really in the past three weeks that i haven't drunk anything and it's a really good experiment which i don't want to say too much because this is just a sneak peek to another video i want to do on alcohol but considering that alcohol is a toxin and i don't like the word toxin all the time because a lot of people say it for everything which there's a lot of toxins in our environment but anyway but alcohol literally is a toxin your liver can't handle it if you drink too much of it so it overflows in your bloodstream you feel drunk and that's your liver not being able to handle it so it just has to work overtime until it can get everything out that's when you sober up have a hangover are dehydrated things like that so considering that alcohol is a toxin and i have been not drinking any of it for the past three weeks which is longer than i've gone without alcohol in months that probably has something to do with it too so i might do an update on this type of video in you know a month or two later from today just to see if anything else has changed because once again change is super gradual and i'm sure the more i go the better i feel the better i look to me the more i'm going to want to continue so i don't know but i wanted to show you guys how our food system is affecting us and it's not even like i did a crazy huge change overnight or even across these months i just gradually added in things as I went and took out others. And it was as simple as let me eat a fruit for lunch today. No, wait, sorry. Not just one fruit for lunch. I mean, let me add fruit into my lunches. Let me start eating yogurt again because it's good for my bones. Let me stop eating Little Debbie cakes. Let me buy the better bread instead of the other bread that has a lot of dough conditioners and preservatives in it. Just itty bitty changes like that add up so feel good about yourself when you change your soda to spindrift or lacroix or whatever be proud of yourself when you start taking 20 minute walks when you've never exercised in your life be proud of yourself when you don't have a drink this weekend when you've had a drink every single weekend before today so i'm so excited about this video i hope this is super eye-opening and encourage you to keep going even if you are looking at yourself in one month's time and you're like what's changed i've been doing all of these new things and i don't see any difference wait some more months do a side-by-side -side photo like I just did and your mind will be blown. Please, 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 please educate yourself on all of this nutrition stuff. Follow my page, subscribe to me because I do a lot of nutrition stuff on this channel. It's so important. It affects everybody. And I'm so glad you stuck around all this time. Drink your water, period. I could talk about this forever, but subscribe, comment, let me know what your experience is with eating healthier, with changes in your lifestyle, and I will see you later.